Hello lovelies. Hello. Ninja Sex Party has a new music video out today. It's called Wondering Tonight. And if you click the link in the description of this video, it'll take you there. Watch our video. And also our new album, The Prophecy is coming out next Friday, October 16th on Spotify and wherever other places you like to hear music. I'm Brian. Okay, bye. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Ah, uh, it's time to relax. Oh. Uh. And welcome to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Yeah, I'm, uh... uh. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, are you okay? Yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop, please! You're hurting me! <laughs> Too much relaxation! <laughs> Um, all right, Aaron, tell me where we are and what we're doing. Man, I don't know. We did a bunch of levels and we're doing more levels. The end. Good work. <laughs> it's you. I mean, you that's all it. this game is. Like, what do you want me to say? Like, we, all right, we did, take it easy. I'm we, just saying, I'm just. We, we just completed Flip Flop Galaxy and then we, and then we <laughs> went to Snowy Snowy Poopy Man Mountain Galaxy. <laughs> and now we're doing Squizzard Sandy Sinkhole. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> Which I one don't of those even know was real, you'll wizard. never know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this. This fucking- this, this fucking big long worm is going into squizzled sandy sinkhole. <laughs> His name is Squizzard, so, and I'll thank you to respect that. Uh, sorry. Maybe there's stuff on the other side. I've got friends oh. on the other side. You saw that one, right? I've got friends on the other side. Yeah, I've got friends on the other side. That one. What is that? It's Princess and the Frog. Oh no, I haven't seen that one. Oh. Um, we are at. Uh, I think Brother Bear was the last one we saw. Oh my god. So, next is Home on the Range. Oh no! Um, <laughs> oh no! Uh, Aaron, the tagline is "Bust a Moo," so I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's going to be awesome. Is it- is it not a strong Disney entry? Oh, that was like... That was the movie where everyone was like, is Disney over? Are they done? Did they just- Oh no! Yeah, it's- it's not good. Wow, okay. Well... I have to be a completionist about this, so right, we're right. gonna watch it anyway. Um... And then, uh... And then Cars. Um... I, we're, we're skipping a couple that I'd seen already, like I'd seen Wally. -E, although I love Wally. -E. Wally -E was amazing. Yeah, Wally's -E good. Um... Uh, oh, so you're doing Pixar, too. But, yeah, yeah, well, the ones I haven't seen, at least. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, after that, I think it's, yeah, I think it's, after that, it's Princess and the Frog. That's the next 2D one. Um, <laughs> I love 2Ds, and, dude. It's <laughs> and then, um, maybe I'll do Wreck-It Ralph, too, because I never saw that one. Oh, Wreck-It Ralph is fun. Yeah, it looks fun. I saw that Bentley Bear makes an appearance. Does from, he? Yeah, from uh, Crystal Castles. I couldn't believe it. I didn't. I, I didn't realize. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> they make him look a lot cuter. Well, actually, he's super cute in both versions, but they—they they, he looks quite different in Wreck It Ralph. Right. I only saw a picture of him. Yeah, Wreck It Ralph um, too. They really, they really shit the bed on that one. That was. Uh, did they? Yeah, it had a lot of potential. Like, it was interesting, and then they just, I don't know, they just, they, just, they just missed so many opportunities. They, like, they set up a bunch of stuff. There's this character, Shank, in the movie. Mm -hmm. She's awesome. And she's totally, like, this character that's, like, important and makes a lot of change. And then they just, okay. like, forget about her. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, wait, she was the best character in this entire movie? Yeah, uh, stuff like that does happen. I mean, sometimes it's, uh... Whoa, this is... emotion in this... Um... On this level is nuts. Uh, yeah, a lot of times it'll be... That'll happen in the editing room, or... Studio interference, or... Whatever. But... Yeah, a character will just kind of disappear from a movie. We were it's really weird. We were, uh... I don't think this is uncouth to say, because I don't think I... Uh... We were, we were in talks to be in Wreck-It Ralph 2. I vaguely remember that. Yeah. 
So is that why you don't like it? Because you're all salty? No, I, I honestly forgot about it until just now. Okay. Um, I remember then I was like, man, fucking, ugh. but like I get it because like I don't know, we swear. Um, yeah, all the time. Yeah, but uh, I totally get it. Yeah, there's there's like scenes in the movie where there's like YouTubers, and and also because like, you know, without going into too much, I, I think, I think there was a script change that made mm -hmm. it make less sense that we were in it. Um, okay. But. Yeah, we, we were we were talking about having the, me and Dan be in Wreck-It Ralph as like ourselves. That, that would have been crazy to um, just be in a Disney movie. But it didn't happen. Yeah, it's okay. You worked at Disney World. Yeah, and that's basically the same thing. That's <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same. There there were other YouTubers in the film though, so like cool. I can be angry about that. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There, what, um, no, we could have been Disney was, princesses, uh, but whatever. Oh, that actually is your dream. Mm hmm. But it's fine. Um, should I see uh, Tangled? Yeah, Tangled is great. How about Enchanted? I can never remember the difference between the two of them. <laughs> well, they're two completely different movies. Um, right. With different plots and different characters. I know, but I haven't seen either one, and they both end in a past tense ED, which is why I get them confused in my head. Uh, well, Tangled is actually- Aaron, please! I got- I Who was, cares about the star bits? I know, Stop I was, falling off the I side! I know, I'm sorry! I, get, <laughs> I I care about the star bits, you freak! Obviously! You're, you're like Ilsa at the end of, uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I can almost reach it! <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh- By the way, that actress's real name? Allison Duty. Really? Yep. That's a great- And I am not. It's a gr it's a fantastic- it's my favorite name of all time. Yeah. And I am not mature enough to handle it. <laughs> could- could she's not, um, what was she supposed to be in that movie? Austrian? I don't know. I'm German not, or Austrian? I don't think I've ever seen it. You've never seen Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade? Was that the first one? It's the third one. No. It's an incredible movie. No, I've never seen it. But you've seen Crystal Skull! Yeah, well, that's because it's terrible. Why?! <laughs> Why would I miss out on the- the bad one? Oh, Aaron. <laughs> Making me so sad over here. The bad one's hilarious. Why would I want to watch a good movie? That's ridiculous, Dan. Uh, <laughs> that's one of my favorite movies. Um... Yeah, well, I watched Crystal Skull because, like, I was- it was like friends. They were- it was at their house, and they were like, Dude, we're watching Crystal Skull, it's terrible. And I'm like, hell yeah. It, <laughs> if they were real friends, they would have been like, Let's watch one of the- Any of the others, actually. No, as a kid, I was all about... Watching, ironically, stuff. Oh, okay. That was my thing. I was like, hate watching. Anyway. I understand. Um... Enchanted versus Tangled. <laughs> this- this thing as is- As there is a monster. <laughs> yeah. Is this thing a chicken lizard? What am I looking at? He's upsetting, I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah, he bums me out. That's for dang sure. I gotta hit him in the mouth. It's too hot. Too hot for I him. I gotta hit him in the mouth. <laughs> he's too hot. I like how it's just <laughs> his arms. Like, he's not moving any other part of his body. Uh oh. He's sucking up. Whoa. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Goo hoo! See the thing about the fire flower is that it's it's a timed thing. So you the, don't you don't what keep do you, mean? It, you don't keep it forever. It's like a star. Oh. Yeah. It's, yeah. Is that the way that it's been in this entire game? Yeah. I don't know why that didn't register with me. That's for why some it plays reason. that music. It's like. <laughs> But don't throw bombs at me, dude. That's fucked up. <laughs> uh, he's throwing bomb. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Okay. I was not prepared. Why is it so high? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Thought I was gonna have to. <laughs> Why is it so high? <laughs> <laughs> Thought I was gonna have to. High above me. Bake some brownies. It's so lovely. Um. Okay. May oh, was that Squizzard then? I guess that was Squizzard, yes. I don't know. Or whatever his name is. It's Sinkhole. I, yeah, I, it was a Sandy Sinkhole. Tangled versus Enchanted. 
Yes. Tangled is an animated feature film about Rapunzel. Okay. Enchanted is a live-action feature film starring Amy Adams and the the guy from Grey's Anatomy, and... Grey? N no. That's the guy that wrote the book. Patrick Dempsey. Yeah, oh, Patrick, oh, I, Patrick I didn't Dempsey realize it was a, his name. I didn't realize that show was also a book. Yeah, Grey's Anatomy is like a... I think it's actually like a textbook or something. Yeah, it's the story of Dr. David Grey and... <laughs> Amy Adams comes over to his house and he's like, "Hey, check out my anatomy." <laughs> no, I've s I, I've read it. Okay, Fifty so Shades of Grey's Anatomy. The, st <laughs> <laughs> the, the the plot of Enchanted is actually pretty charming. It's it's she Amy Adams is is like a Disney princess who is in like an animated world, and then there was some okay. magic that she was cursed with by some evil witch or whatever who made her go into the real world. And so she's all like fanciful and like she wants to sing all the time and she like communicates with birds and shit, but she's like in like <laughs> downtown New York. Oh, that's a that's a cute idea. Yeah. And so she she ends up getting involved with this Patrick Dempsey who's like a like a it's like a talent agent or like one of those jobs that's like like, uh, ew, like what a slimy dude, or so you know what I mean, like, like a lawyer right. or something. Um, but then he like learns to be more like pure-hearted because of her, et cetera, et cetera. Wait, he's the romantic interest? Y y yes, I mean yes. That, that's an interesting choice. <laughs> yeah. Cause, oh no 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 no, sorry, I'm thinking of the wrong person. Um, get some coins, bro. Trying Whoa. to, but the gravity, man. Oh, that gravity, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I confused. I don't know who Patrick Dempsey is. I confused him with Patrick Warburton from, um, <laughs> the Tick. Hey, hey, Peter. <laughs> oh, hey, dude. Amy Adams. <laughs> uh, I'm a, I'm a lawyer, or whatever. <laughs> uh. Hold on, let me look up Patrick Dempsey so I can. Get the right person in my head. He's a uh, hey, Peter. He's a guy. He is a guy. <clears throat> Patrick, De you've seen him. I'm sure you've seen him. He's just he just he's like a dude. I think he's is he McDreamy or is he McSteamy? <laughs> McSteamy. Don't ask me about this. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know it either. Patrick. Dempsey. Oh, yes, I have seen this guy. McDreamy. Okay, he's McDreamy, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Derek McDreamy Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> My life wouldn't have been complete if I didn't know that piece of trivia about him. So McSteamy's the other guy. He's the... Yes. He's the, the other... The other white guy, who's in Grey's Anatomy, who's a doctor or whatever. Right. And none of them are Grey? No, Grey is not a person in the show Grey's Anatomy. Grey's okay. Anatomy is a book that is a book of anatomical references, I think. So who's... <laughs> who were there Fifty Shades of? <laughs> Catherine Heigl is in it. I actually heard a... Is she... What, oh yeah, what were you gonna say about her? Is she gray? Yeah. <laughs> but like, is she an alien? Like the grays? Like they... When do they show up? Please stop this. And is it- is that what it is? Is it alien autopsy? Because they're a bunch of finding out gray's anatomy. <laughs> oh my god. I, w I want I, you to complete I do. I do bit. know- I just want to say, I do know Grey's Anatomy, the textbook. It's like... It's the classic preeminent source of knowledge. It was in all of my high school okay, classes. Okay, good. So I was right about that. Especially math. <laughs> <laughs> you are- you are, uh... You're a little punchy today. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little punchy. That- that is for sure. Well, I've been in my house for six months. <laughs> yeah. I, get, no, I, I mean, think we're all a touch. We've got a touch of the punch. I like. I, you know, I like it actually. I, I like Punchy Dan. 
happens. He, yeah, he yeah. rolls with mm. the, dare I say, punches. Yeah. Well, I... Never mind, I was gonna make another Grey's Anatomy <laughs> reference. What, what were you gonna say about Katherine Heigl? Uh, she's in it. Cool. I remember... Shit. All, all I remember is that, um... Was it? I can't... I know, I know she hated Knocked Up. Yes. For being a part Ish. of it. But I can't remember if she also hated Grey's Anatomy. No, well, I mean, she was on it for like 10 seasons or whatever. Right. But wasn't there some sort of acrimonious split there? I don't know. I can't remember. I mean, that show made her career, so... I mean, not, not that you have to like something because of that, but... I feel like there would be a little bit of, like... Reverence of like, well, you know, didn't like it, but it really did something for everything that I do now. Yeah. Anyway, so. And Knocked Up was a good movie. <laughs> I think she thought it was like misogynistic. Which. Is that which right? I, I guess I get. But wouldn't she have known that when she was reading the lines from the script? I don't. I, Aaron, stop going for those star bits. It kills you know, every time. I know, Dan. I know. I feel like I'm in a time I know, loop. I'm sorry. We're just talking so fiercely <laughs> about Grey's Anatomy, and it's okay. It's making me so excited. <laughs> um, okay. What was what were we saying about that? Sh oh yeah. So there was a meme the other day that was like that made me laugh. It was on Twitter. It was mm -hmm. like. <laughs> Whenever, whenever you go out grocery shopping, and then when you get back in the car, and does anyone else take off their mask like they just made a really disappointing surgery in Grey's Anatomy? <laughs> <laughs> that's very funny. And that's exactly yeah, what I just like um, rip it off. I'm like, oh. <sighs> yeah. There, there was a uh, a young woman who made the in a boot. Come. Well, I don't. I, I don't know who she is. Don't go I'm for not. the star. I'm getting the one up. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Um. Yeah, she said something akin to uh, ripping your mask off as soon as you get in a car. Is the new version of taking off your bra at the end of the day. <laughs> and I was just like, man. Hashtag relatable. <laughs> when I take off my bra. It's very relaxing. Oh, what the fuck? Have you ever? Uh, ha have you ever worn a bra? Uh, yeah, a couple times. Yeah, me too. I I, I dressed in drag for a Halloween, um, many many moons ago, and uh, I ha I came away with a whole new respect. Oh, for what women have to deal with for Halloween. Day. That's quaint. Underwire's a bitch, dude. I'm sorry, did, 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 are, am I, are you giving me sauce for not wearing a bra more often? I'm just saying. I've worn it for stuff that was other for Halloween. Well, good for you! What is this, a competition? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm turning it into one, yes. Okay. Hey, bro. Let me. I'm wearing a bra, <laughs> and it doesn't feel great. Yeah. <laughs> But it's also like, I don't know, branch out. Victoria's Secret is a shitty company. There's other good, there's what? other good undergarment creators out there. Who's talking about Victoria's Secret? I'm saying fucking, there's better, there's better bras out there now. Okay. <laughs> just, you know, just, just wanted people to know. Oh, I thought you were talking specifically to me. No, I don't... Aaron, I yeah. don't care. You wear whatever you want. I'm not into drag, Aaron. I'm a furry. <laughs> it's different. <Way> different. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yes, but... Uh, if you want to get me three bras for all of my wolf nipples... <laughs> 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 That's a different story. <laughs> Couldn't even get that one out. 
Uh, I've got an entire litter to feed. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, baby. That's hot. I don't care who you are. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fucking wolf nipples, dude. <laughs> Uh, oh boy, oh boy. Me over here. Yeah, so we're, we're alright. We're alright. Hell yeah, give me this. Okay, so it, it feels like you're consistently going backwards. Yes, well, I'm trying to find. I could have sworn that I had left. What are these star bit fuckers open? The Lumas that eat the star bits that was worth a thousand, but apparently I did not, oh. and the next one is worth twelve hundred. So I gotta do that. <laughs> and then this one's worth okay. fifteen hundred, and I don't have that kind of time. Gee whiz! Boo moon! Boo moon! Boo moon! Boo moon! And a nanny for you. And then the bass guy comes in. Boo moon! Boo moon! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you never heard Blue Moon? It's one of those. Old 50s, maybe early 60s kinds of shoe op shoe op songs. <laughs> I love it. Fucking shoe op shoe op. <laughs> Whoa, it's from the 30s. Gee whiz. 1934. Isn't the genre called doo op? No, it's not doo up. <laughs> I'm sh I'm kind of sure it's called doo up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's yeah. It's doo up. Oh, because in night. Oh, I say it was originally written in the 30s, and then in 1961, Blue Moon became a hit for the doo up group, the Marcells, who covered it in a doo up style. Oh, I see. Ah. Oh, that's like that song. That song. That's like. Hey, little thing, let me light your candle, cuz good mama's and so on. It's like a classic, like, 50s song. Is it really? Yeah, I, Hard I to had handle? no idea. I, I asked, I asked my, my Amazon Echo that's listening to me and reporting everything that I say to the government. And I, I yeah, asked, I, I asked know. them to say, to, to play Hard to Handle. And I just said, play Hard to Handle. And then it was like, Hard to Handle by whoever was the original artist. And it was like, this, like, like, Hey, little thing, let me light your candle. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> wow. Yeah, so good. I always thought it was light your chemicals. It's light your candle, cuz. Hey, little thing, let me light your candle, cuz. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the hen and eggs to brand. Oh, yeah, that, made, that does make more yeah. sense. It's, it, it's pretty impressive because, I mean, he, he says it very clearly. It's 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 like a it's like a it's like a black jazz singer that does that the, like the original version. Hmm. A lot a lot of times it was. Um. A lot of um. Oh wait. Okay. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh, oh they're all gonna die. Oh no they didn't fall. Okay that's great. <laughs> Claim your prize. Ah. Oh jeez. Duo landed in the goo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right in there. Landed, landed um, goo. Yeah, in, in in a lot of um, back in the segregation days, there was uh, a lot of the the best songs were um, done by black performers, and then in order to get played on the radio to hear the song, you would have to hear like the Pat Boone cover version or something like that. The fuck um, is Pat Boone? Pretty fucked up. He was a white performer who would sing a lot of those. Dang it, Aaron. Well, I tried. Yeah. I failed, but I tried. Yeah. I mean, nothing against Pat Boone. I mean, I, he was just a singer, but... Um... But he, he was an example of, of that situation. That's lame. Yeah. Yeah, the... F 50s and... That era were pretty lame in a lot of ways. Like... You couldn't poop into a toilet. You had to poop into a... Into a paper bag and then you had to dispose of it in a toilet later. That was the law in the 50s. That's what I read on Wikipedia. Is that true? Yeah. I don't know if that's yeah, it's true. it's totally true. Oh, okay. You Apparently that oh. it just... Okay. 
didn't expect the oh, wow, entire dude. world to rotate. I thought that was just a platform <laughs> yeah. I could walk on. There is nothing scarier than the idea of the entire world <laughs> rotating. I mean, aside from its normal right. earthly rotations. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Alright, here we go. The notes. Did we talk about that? We must have a long time ago. But there was a, um... There was a podcast that Vernon used to have me listen to. It was really cool. Now I can't remember the name of it. But, um... It was just these different stories of people's strange experiences. And one of them was about, uh, a woman who... Oh! Oh yeah, that is weird. Tales from the Dookie? Um... It was not Tales from the Dookie, Aaron. Okay, was it... Fair enough, though? Was it Tales oh. from the Dookie 2? Fucking Careful. god! Careful! Oh! I just... I... My... Oh, give me the... No. You got excited. Yeah. I think that's why they give you this opportunity to get three one-mans, because... There's yeah, so many. This looks tough. So many opportunities for dying. Um, um, but it was it was it was a story of a woman who had a very rare um, uh, brain disorder, where she she suddenly one day just completely lost track of where she was. She she was doing fine, and then she lost all perspective, and she was terrified, and then she. She was like, where am I? I'm miles from anywhere I know. And then, I think she found her son in the yard. I mean, it's been so many years since I've heard this, I'm probably screwing it up a little bit. But she- she found her son, and she said, what are you doing here? And he's- oh. He said, what do you mean, what am I doing here? This is our backyard. And... It turned out that she has some extremely rare, uh, condition, where... just seemingly randomly, her entire- the entire perspective of her world shifted. So, if you were looking- if you were standing, looking at something, like maybe one of your walls in your room, um, what her brain did was suddenly shift everything one wall rotation over. So if you were looking at the wall with the door, suddenly the wall with the door was over by the- where the wall with the window was, and the wall with the window was where uh, the wall with the painting was, you know? Everything just switched around on her. Um, and she got completely disoriented. And apparently it's this extremely rare condition, and she was able to find a few other people who have it and, um, share their experiences and make them feel less alone. It, it, it was a very cool story. That's- But very that's bizarre. wacky, dude. Super what wacky. I do. But that, that, that's that's what I thought of when I um when I thought of the Earth rotating, sort of rotating on you, you know, without you understanding what's going oh, on. Oh, dude, because I thought something similar. I thought the video game Loco Roco for the PlayStation Portable, which is a game where you control the world and you shift, you use your controller to move the world around. That's what I was thinking when you said that. So I think I, that's base. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, we're on the same page. I think. <laughs> This level is scary. Well, it is Boo's <laughs> Boo House or whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah. I'm not feeling the, uh, the warp to infinity. <laughs> Fucking... The warp to infinity? <laughs> oh yeah, it's Final Destination. That's exactly what's going on here. Yeah. Ah, ah. Uh, uh, I don't... Oh, it's, oh, it's uh, like a little pop-up oh, yeah. book. That's cute. Oh, that is cute. I don't like infinity until- unless it's the song 93 to infinity. By Souls of oh, Mischief. You don't like my uncle's book, that... I Loved Infinity? Your uncle? Yeah, Dr. Cecil H. H. Mills. Oh, I thought you met your uncle who drinks too much. No, that's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Get your shit together. You got some wacky ass uncles. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, family is family. <laughs> so, is this just gonna go back up or? Okay. Ah. Cool. Then I gotta get the other star, and then we're done. And then Daddy gets Good to have his milkshake. Job. And then Daddy gets to have his milkshake. <laughs> now get it. Ah shit. Now get it without dying. Oh, I will. Stop. You want that? You want that one up? Yeah, I do. Yeah, of course you do. I'm gonna take it. You can't- 
you can't pass- you can't pass up a treat like that. A sweet treat. Oh, fuck yeah. God, that was so good. And all them <laughs> bits. Oh, look out, you're gonna die. I'm not gonna die, oh, okay. everything's fine. And you have- Oh ye of small faith amounts. I mean, almost none. An infinitesimal amount of f faith. That's really, really fucking mean. And I really don't appreciate the things that you're saying to me right now about the amount of faith that you have for me. Honestly, I just came here to have a good time and I'm feeling very attacked. <laughs> Isn't that a meme? It cracks me up every time I hear it. Honestly, I just came here to have a good time. I'm feeling very attacked right now. That's me every day, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I feel attacked constantly. Maybe because I'm reading the comments all the time. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Alright, next time on Game Grumps. I came out to have a good time and I'm honestly feeling so attacked right now. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm honestly feeling so attacked right now. Alright, everybody, tune in next week when we'll kiss... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> You're welcome.